Isaac Newton once said, we built too many walls and not enough bridges. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Greetings to the Honorable Judges of Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi 2024, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian Andika Prayoga. I'm the outstanding student of Universitas Diponegoro. On the importance of seizing every opportunity Pilma Press provides, I would like to deliver my constructive speech entitled Revitalization of Cocoa Pot Waste, Improving the Quality of Ecoenzyme as a Rare Material for non rinse Emergency Soap Bundaran to implement SDGs number 12. This contributes on the responsible of consumption and production. According to the Journal of Indonesia Sustainable Development Planning, Indonesia aims to be a superior and advanced nation capable of competing with other countries by 2045. To achieve this, Indonesia must maximize its responsibility of consumption and production, including the sustainable use of natural resources. Indonesia is well known as Zamrud Katulistiwa, including diverse range of minerals, marine resources, forest, and agricultural products. Despite the significant utilization of natural resources for development, we still face responsible consumption and production challenges. This include plastic pollution, waste generation, excessive consumption, supply chain challenges, poor post harvest handling, low technological adoption. The honorable judges, based on data from Badan Pusat Statistik Indonesia 2022, Indonesia cocoa crop productivity is high. As evidenced by the surplus of 238.59 thousand tons in cocoa pots exports and imports. Despite the significant cocoa production, the abundance of waste from cocoa pots has not yet addressed adorably. Cocoa pot waste are usually bonds, generating emissions of toxic gases and particulates that contribute to air pollution and cause health issues. Not to mention, improper disposal of cocoa pot waste in poorly managed landfills can cause soil damage. Moreover, fuel remaining cocoa pots is toxic and poses harmful consequences on aquatic ecosystems leading to biodiversity imbalance and disruption of nutrient cycles. As a chemistry student, I would like to share light to propose a strategy to tackle the cocoa pot's problem by addressing SDGs number 12. Cocoa pot weights can be capitalized to create an innovative spray soap called Bundaran. The spray soap is made by extracting antioxidant and fermenting ecoenzyme of cocoa pot's waste and combines with additional bioactive compounds such as alkaloids, vinyls, polyvinyls, using the response red method as antirins, antibacterial, sunscreen, and brightening soap. Ladies and gentlemen, being a research assistant as well, I'm interested to observe issue about the plastic pollution, especially from single-use packaging. According to Badan Informasi Geospatial 2020, about 85,000 tons of plastic box are thrown into the environment per year. This issue could be solved by creating the biodegradable plastic made from cocoa pot's waste as a bundaran soap packaging in order to reduce environmental pollution. In conclusion, the SDG number 12 lies in the transformative potential. It is possible to achieve the ambitious target to create a world where consumption and production practices are in harmony with the planet's ecological limits and the well-being of present and future generations. Just as atoms combine to form molecules, all individual actions combine to shape our collective future. So, let's choose wisely, for the sustainability of our world depends on it. John Dalton. Thank you very much. Wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh.